a legislative package dealing with maternal health care, approved by members of New York City's City Council last month, replaces all references to mothers with birthing persons. Now, the legislation's supporters say it will reduce racial disparities in pregnancy care and outcomes. Greg Gutfeld blasted Team Blue over a poll conducted by WPA Intelligence that found nearly one in four Democrats believe men can get pregnant. Let's watch. A new poll finds that 22% of Democrats agreed with the statement, some men can get pregnant. And 36% of white college-educated female Democrats agree that, yes, a man can get pregnant. So I hate, just utterly hate, I don't know how you feel about it, loathe the phrase birthing persons. It just sounds so impersonal uh, to me. It's, it's, it's not a... Being a mother is a, a beautiful thing. I, I love my own my own mother. Um, it's uh, we, we all do. It's a it's a it's a beautiful thing we're celebrating. Um, I, look, without being disparaging at all to trans people, I accept that yes, trans men, uh, people who started out as women and then transition may still be able to. Uh, I might have the physiology to still become pregnant. Uh, that's a that is true. It's also you know a very 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 rare occurrence. Like there aren't that many trans people anyway. So we're talking like about a tiny number of people. And I hate when we can't have right right all definitions, all words, are ca all categories have exceptions. And yes, there is a very 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 small exception for the category of motherhood where it is technically like yes, it's technically true. There are trans men who can't get pregnant. Absolutely acceptable. Doesn't mean you know basic statements like <laughs> it's mothers and, mo and the overwhelming number of pe people giving birth are women. And most like it's, we can just have these categories without, to my, to my mind, like radically having new language to, to describe these things. There are exceptions to every rule. These exceptions exist. Fine, but like, like we don't have to erase the concept of motherhood for a small number of counterexamples. Here's my question. So 22 percent of Democrats think that men, some men, can have can get pregnant, and have babies. Why are the Democrats catering to 22 percent oh. instead of 78 yeah. percent? Like, what is going? But it's so typical. It's so emblematic. They hate the 70. They hate the 70 percent. Exactly. They, they're they only have conversations with that. Uh, again, this is a small. Wait, 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 well, it's a very small, incredibly small sliver of the population we're talking about. I mean, I don't. Uh, we might be talking about like hundreds of people, thousands, like not, not like so, if, if, you know, given the size of our country, the population. The people who agree with that are also this, uh, they're a larger minority, but they're still a, a minority. And, but, the, but that's, the, that's the elite media, that's the elite activists, the conversations around these things are, are so. Right. <laughs> and I mean, no, I, 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 and I think that the, even beyond the sort of question of morality is the political question, which is that, you know, when Democrats speak to only 22% of their voters, they're opening up, you know, the lane for Republicans, which is exactly what happened. So several Republican members of the council spoke out against the revised language. Councilwoman Joanne Ariola of Queens told The Post, quote, as a woman who has children, it should be mother. We can't let something so meaningful be canceled.